Hello everyone. So today I thought I'll probably uh, talk about weather, showing weather information in your uh, in your Emacs or maybe on your computer. Now someone have, someone was actually asking me this question. Someone I know personally, a good friend of mine, that I want to use uh, weather information within my Emacs. Now this is something that you can of course do. The way I do it is uh, using uh, X set root and I don't really do it within Emacs. I basically do it uh, uh, on this uh, like taskbar on uh, my DWM and basically I use uh, this uh, this X set root command to basically you know um, for example if I show you this command X set root you can basically pass any anything to it. And it will be basically, you know, display it. For example, right now, if I pass here x set root uh, hyphen hyphen name, uh, this is a message. So basically, this message will be displayed here on top. And I think after like few seconds, or maybe in the next uh, minute, this will be resumed back to what I had earlier. And uh, this is of course something that I do because I want this weather information to be there always, irrespective of uh, whether I'm using or whether, whether I have Emacs window open or not. At the same time, basically this this is using uh, nothing but uh, uh, WTTR dot in. So if you do something like curl WTTR dot in, you basically can uh, see this information, like this uh, weather information here. And uh, of course, you can pass some arguments to uh, make it look, uh, I mean, you can actually change the format. So instead of this table, for the next three days, you can also retrieve only the current temperature. Now, the thing is that uh, you can also do the same thing uh, using uh, Emacs. So if you do uh, Emacs web browser, basically you can uh, type here wttr.in and you will basically have the same thing within your Emacs. Now, now I don't really do these things uh, uh, in Emacs, or I don't really use this information somewhere in my Emacs. I believe I can probably display it somewhere, but uh, I thought I'll probably talk about it because I think it makes much more sense if you are using this information always available uh, somewhere. And uh, I've seen a lot of examples where people, mostly people, they uh, especially people who are using surplus utilities like DWM, they use uh, X set root. But I've also seen uh, people generating uh, a PNG file. So you can do that, of course. Uh, and uh, you can uh, then, uh, so when you have this information, you can dump it to a file. You can, of course, do it using FFmpeg and generate a nice uh, image for your, for your background. And then, of course, uh, use that background so basically, if you are uh, looking at your uh, desktop, you can have this uh, current time printed somewhere on top right corner, which you can, of course, update maybe every minute or every hour. And uh, it's not really a big deal. It may seem like a lot, but it is not. It is just a matter of uh, just writing a simple script. And I've shown you many times uh, on my channel how to generate uh, an image. I generate my thumbnails using FFmpeg and when you're generating something using FFmpeg, you can obviously print uh, a text to that image and it can be an existing image and you can write on top of it. But I don't really do it with Emacs, but I thought I'll probably talk about it. I think the best way is to just keep it somewhere on top using X set root because you, you may also want to display the currently playing song, RAM and battery level and of course the time. All right, that is it. Small video, but I thought I'll probably, you know, talk about it. You may find find it useful in case you're wondering where, what you should be doing for your uh, weather uh, updates. All right, that is it. Bye-bye.